Thomas Carlyle made a great mistake. Who is Thomas Carlyle? Thomas Carlyle happens to be one of the greatest thinkers of the past century, a European, a Britisher, most specifically a Scottish Presbyterian. In 1840, he delivered a series of talks in England under the theme Heroes and Hero Worship. Heroes and Hero Worship. And the first section of his talks was dedicated to the hero as God. And the gods that he discusses are the gods of the Scandinavians. The people in Norway, Sweden, Denmark, they had their gods before Christianity reached them. Like the gods of ancient Greece, gods and goddesses, who ate and drank, who wrangled and plotted, carried away the wives of other gods, like the gods of the Hindus. The Scandinavians also had their own gods in their mythology, in their fairy tales. Odin, Thors, Wardens, these are the gods of the ancient Scandinavians. He deals with that and heroes as military men, then as heroes as prophet, the hero prophet. He chooses, this Thomas Carlyle, he chose our Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, as his hero prophet. Amazing! A Christian, a Presbyterian, talking to his English Christian audience, and he does not present to them Moses as his hero prophet, or David as his hero prophet, or Solomon, or Jesus, but he chooses Muhammad as his hero prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Amazing situation. He was about the first European to do some justice. He tried to do some justice to our Nabi Karim. He said that the lies which well-meaning zeal has heaped around this man are disgraceful to ourselves only. That the people were trained to hate the man Muhammad and his religion. And he goes out of his way to prove to the contrary that this man is great. A mighty messenger of God. But he was wrong, I said. Because at the start of his talk on the hero prophet, he makes known that in the history of the world, there will not again be any man ever so great whom his fellow men will take for a God. In other words, mankind has reached an intellectual level. Humanity as a whole, he assumed that they have reached an intellectual level where they will never acknowledge another human being as God. That is the mistake he made. That's what he said. In other words, we are very clever now. We all are very clever. We won't accept another man as a God anymore. Never mind what the man does. The man comes to you and you say, look, I can fly in the air like a bird around the hall. Mm -hmm. And he comes back. Are you prepared to accept that man as your God? No. The man says, come, come, come. We go to the mortuary, to the hospital, and I call the people out of the dead, and they all come out. Will you accept the man as God? No. The man shows you in the palm of his hand and says, look, look, look. Like a TV. Look, you can see your wife, what she's doing at home. Can you see? Can you recognize her? He said, yes. Now, ex believe that I'm your God. He says, no, you're not my God. Why? He said, because when I look at you, me, for example, he said, you know, this man is about 70 years old. Now, man, what I do? I can read your mind. I can tell you the notes, the cor coroners that you got in your pocket, and I can give you the numbers. Believe that I'm your God. He said, no, sir, I don't know how you do all these things, but when I look at you, I can see that you're about 70 years old. Before 70, you were not here. You won't be here for another 70, that's definite. I don't know whether you last another seven, I don't know. If I had a knife, I can put it through you and kill you. I can strangle you, I can shoot you. You are not my God. You are not the creator of the heavens and the earth. How you do all these miraculous things, I don't know. I don't understand. That is the intellectual development of mankind today. That's what he said. But 
after he spoke this, that's 150 years ago in 1840, there are people on earth, they're worshipping men and monkeys, elephants and snakes. In America, Father Divine, an Afro-American, the white man and the black man were worshipping as God. Sun Myung Moon, the Korean, there are people who are worshipping him as a god. They're worshipping the devil, Satan, worshipping cult in America. And in the world today, there are more polytheists in the world, people who are worshipping men and monkeys, elephants and snakes on God's good earth today, than the worshippers of the one true God. So, Carlyle was wrong. He assumed that we had reached that intellectual development where we will not accept another human being as God. But today there are people who worship other human beings as gods. And the topic for this evening, of course, you know, is Jesus. Is Jesus God? And there are over one billion people on earth who say Jesus Christ is God incarnate. God Almighty who came down to earth as a man. 